Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Star Lords. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day and uh, yeah, today's video is actually a very interesting one. What we're going to be doing is looking at who the Blockbuster skin is and also we are going to be kind of piecing together the story that Epic Games have been telling with Fortnite Battle Royale. Of course, most of you guys will know that the loading screens that you do unlock throughout this season are actually telling a story and they're pretty much preparing us for a huge event in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now the really interesting thing about this is that last season, of course, you guys know that it was the Meteorite event. You know, this was pretty big too. I mean, this wasn't just some tiny little event. This was huge because the Meteorite event in Fortnite actually introduced us to brand new creatures and brand new people that we could unlock or buy in the store. Not only that, but brand new technological advances in Fortnite itself, such as the jetpack and all of that kind of stuff. So basically, these stories or these events pave the way for the upcoming season and uh, judging by what we've actually seen so far throughout the season it it looks very confusing it really is it looks a little bit confusing to be honest like a lot of people know that you know it's very film themed you know it's a we've got heroes and villains but then also these heroes and villains are actually on set to actually create a movie or something else uh, but with these brand new loading screens that actually reveal a blockbuster it may actually be changing this a little bit right now, so it's, uh, it's yeah, it's very interesting indeed. Uh, so anyway, we're going to get into that in today's video, showing you the week 7 and week 8 loading screens and also the Blockbuster skin. Uh, so before we do get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like if you do end up enjoying it. Let's see if we can hit 700 likes, that would be awesome. And also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more Fortnite videos daily, just like this one right here. Uh, but anyway, let's get into talking about these awesome brand new things. So the first thing that I'm going to be revealing to you guys is the brand new Blockbuster skin. That is going to be on screen right now. And as you can see, there he is. And it's obvious that this is the Blockbuster skin because he does look like the Blockbuster outline that we saw when Season 4 was actually announced and uh, released. And... Yeah, pretty interesting. You can obviously see that this is Dusty Divot. This is actually the Meteorite Crash Landing Site. And um, if you guys have already been in Fortnite tonight, if you drop at Dusty Divot, what you will actually notice is that the Meteorite is actually broken apart again and revealed that there is a pod in the middle of it that is being opened up. So somebody has emerged from this pod, that person being this guy right here, the Blockbuster skin. Now, unfortunately for us, we don't know whether this is actually some sort of human-like kind of person or an alien or it's a robot. I mean, judging by the look of this right now, I would say he does have very human-like kind of features, but it is actually very plausible that this actually could be a, you know, it could be a, a robot. Yeah, that is right. It could actually be a robot. Very interesting. I know, right, guys? Uh, so, as you can see, the character himself looks really cool, and uh, what I am really excited about is that, you know the way you actually have to progress your uh, characters, such as the Omega and the other dude? Uh, well, basically, I feel like the Omega, or sorry, the Blockbuster skin is going to be like that too. I feel like you have to level up to unlock the Blockbuster's back bling and different kind of upgrades to his skin, and the reason why I'm saying this is... It's in the next week's screenshot, which I'll be showing you in a minute. Uh, but like I said, coming back to this, you can obviously see he's come from space. He's on a very kind of uh, alien land, I would guess. You know, this world that he's on right now is very alien. He looks very disorientated. He looks like he's only just woken up out of this. And uh, yeah, he looks like he has some sort of mission to complete on Earth. Now, one thing about this is that I just cannot put my finger on it. Is this going to be a part of another movie set or is it just going to be like an actual thing? Like what I'm thinking here is that he's landed on a planet, he sees all of these people fighting but they're doing it to make a movie but obviously when he sees this he doesn't know that so maybe his first reaction is like whoa there's a lot of like hate on this planet and uh, what I'm going to be showing you on screen right now is the week 8 loading screens. And uh, as you can see, uh, he's actually now more upgraded. He's got a back bling now. He's also got a cape on the back of him. And he looks like, you know, he's had time to adjust to this planet. And he's no longer disorientated. So obviously, this is either a week or two after the week 7 kind of loading screen. Obviously, it's probably just going to be a week. But uh, it actually looks like he's on a mission now. He looks like he knows what he's doing. And he's obviously found himself at the villain base in the mountain near uh, Snobby Shores. And uh, this is the rocket that you find there, which again is very interesting because he, for some reason, has these technological advances right now that actually show him kind of 
on the interface of the rocket. I don't know exactly what he's doing with the rocket itself. I mean, obviously we cannot really tell uh, whether he's hacking into it, what he's planning to do with it. But if we just look underneath his left hand right there, we can see that, see this little pod right here? Normally this thing right here, or when it's on a spacecraft, is normally a shuttle that somebody gets inside of to actually be boosted into distant space. Now it is very likely that this dude just wants to get back to where he came from and that he doesn't actually want to destroy Earth or anything like that. But again, you know, Epic Games could twist this and say that this is a armed nuclear kind of bomb and that this dude here has saw violence on this Earth he doesn't know what he's doing here, and he basically wants to sabotage it. And uh, this would actually back up the theory that a lot of people have been saying that there could be a desert map added in Fortnite Season 5. Now, I don't mean a brand new map. What I mean is, wouldn't it really be cool if, you know, this dude, for example, set off this huge nuke, it hit the, the planet or, you know, the island, and instead of just destroying the island, it actually turned it to... A desert wasteland and uh, you know it's basically how it is right now but it's more deserty and it would actually bring a brand new season 5 kind of theme such as like a Mad Max theme you know everyone's very pump pocket pump <laughs> punk rocky you know they've got like Pearsons uh, mohawks you know they've got like teddy bear back blings where like the teddy bears like being stabbed or something like that and this could actually be the season 5 kind of, uh, you know, theme, and it would be pretty cool, actually, you know, it would, it genuinely would. And of course, you know, a lot of the technological advances that we've seen in Fortnite, such as, you know, the, the, the jetpack, have been removed now. So, you know, again, uh, they could actually find something to replace the jetpack, such as, you know, a grappling hook, which would fit the theme a little bit more and this would actually give them a lot more of a chance to introduce brand new weapons such as you know like a pipe bomb kind of a uh, grenade to replace the normal grenades uh, maybe even like a pipe pistol like something that you'd see in fallout i don't know it, it would just give the whole game a brand new lease of life and uh, you know again we don't officially know what the whole story is here but i would love to know what you guys think about this i mean judging from these last two kind of screenshots or these last two loading screens what do you actually think is going to be the story for this game right now? Like, where do you think it's heading? Because we've only got around about, like, three weeks left of Season 4, I believe. Or maybe four weeks left. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I would just kind of love to know what you guys think. Personally, for me, I think he wants to get home. Although I would love it that he wants to destroy the kind of map and make it a desert map. I don't think that's going to be the case because obviously you can see by the actual kind of uh, rocket itself that top thing right there is actually a pod where people sit inside and get boosted into outer space. So it just seems like he wants to get home and leave this planet itself. So uh, yeah, very interesting stuff indeed guys. We've got a lot to discuss so please feel free to do so in the comment section below. Uh, but any other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoy all the brand new leaks. Go and check out the channel because I've got a huge amount of them that I've just uploaded and I am going to be uploading for the remainder of the week. So, uh, yeah, enjoy that. Enjoy the gameplay for the rest of the uh, video. And, uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.